The next thing I want to cover is a question that a lot of people have sent in, and that is which home replacements work with the Nexus One? And this is by no means uh, going to be any kind of comprehensive review of each home replacement. In fact, there are too many for me to cover. I will be working on another video um, comparing home replacements, and I'll probably have to use several phones to get that done. Um, but if you search the market and look, through, you know, either home replacement, home alternative, or if you know the names of the programs, and read the descriptions, you'll see that some updates specifically address Droid compatibility, Nexus compatibility, uh, Liquid A1 compatibility. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the most popular, most well-known home replacements and uh, not really check out their features or anything, just see how they run on the Nexus One. So I have a few uh, home replacements installed here. Let's just go down the list and try each one out. Panda Home actually seems to work okay. I was able to put an application in the, uh, the side dock there. So that one's a go. Next one, um, and this this reminds me that I should mention, I haven't even tried installing themes on a lot of these. A Home, I did use a theme. And as you'll see, it's kind of uh, mixed results. There's a little bit of overlap there between the, uh, the buttons on the side for the drawer and the application menu, where they overlap with uh, icons beneath them. So sometimes it's, it's a little difficult uh, to hit the right one, I did okay there, but sometimes you know you'll you'll go for one and hit the other. So uh, mixed results on a home. I haven't had any crashes or anything, but then again I haven't gone uh, for any hardcore customization with lots of widgets or anything like that. Desktop or DX top. I still don't know how to say that one. This was my favorite for a long time because you can swap screens uh, vertically and horizontally. Not only that. Um, there is no absolute location. It's not, it's not like, uh, you know, if you go two screens to the left, you have to go two screens to get back over to the right screen. Uh, you just have an extra screen in each direction. So if I'm up at the top screen and I swipe down, I'm on the bottom screen. If I'm on the bottom screen and I swipe left, I'm on the left screen. It's not like I have to go up and, and over. Like, uh, basically, you have a plus sign of screens, um, but it, any screen is always one swipe away, and I really liked that. It helped me organize, you know, here's a screen of... Uh, social apps and um, communications related programs. Over here is utilities. Up top I can have media. Down below maybe that's things I need to review and uh, tech stuff. So I really liked that idea. Instead of swiping, you know, seven screens left and right, it's just have one up, one down, one left, one right. Uh, that was really handy to me. Unfortunately, this one does not work at all on the Nexus One. It's just constant force closes. And uh, desktop has had, had some issues um, I think pretty much with Donut. I don't know. I, I started running into problems and I, ex I eventually had to abandon it, which is too bad. I think it's a, a great app and I'd really like to use it on my Nexus One, but I'll definitely be reviewing this one later on a compatible phone. Fresh Face. This one I'm getting all kinds of force closes with. Um, let's see if it'll even successfully load. And I had it downloading a theme and it actually just stopped in the middle of the download. That might be why it's forced closing is because it's trying to use a theme that doesn't really, isn't really there. I wonder if I reinstalled it or chose a different theme. It seems like the display works okay. It's not having problems with the resolution, I don't think. But again, this one does say only works with Android 1.6 Donut. So really, what can you expect? Launcher, that's just the um, default home for the Nexus One, which actually <laughs> doesn't work flawlessly. If, uh, if I mess around here enough, I'm going to get a, a forced close on it. It doesn't happen very often, and I, I have a decent number of widgets running, and now it's probably not going to do it, but... That's a good thing. It, it doesn't happen enough to uh, really irritate me, and I realize most people aren't going to have uh, 10 replacement keyboards and all these different home replacements that they're bouncing in between with different widgets on each one. Okay, so it's working now. Next one, Open Gesture Pro works fine. Let's 
test out a gesture and there's the calendar works well open home this one I have uh, no problems whatsoever I should turn off that silly experimental cube animation so you can uh, really see it working Open Home has been really good about compatibility with different phones, different versions of Android. Works well. And this is Sweeter Home Preview 1. I'm, I'm only covering things that are available in the market right now. Sweeter Home Preview 2 um, is probably the one that I would want to test on this phone. However, I'm, I'm, I was surprised to see that Preview 1 works just fine. So uh, I haven't obviously done anything. This is just the out-of-the-box state, and this is probably the most customizable home replacement there is. So to really test it, you'd want to um, you know, set up springboards and do all kinds of stuff with folders and live folders. But uh, again, that's something for a dedicated review. Okay, so that's it for this video. That went a little long. I might end up uh, doing more of these than I had originally expected. I'm going to get to work now on a video about which keyboard replacements work on the Nexus One. If you have a question or request you'd like to send in, SMS me at 503-MOB-BARK. That's for text messages only. No one's going to be answering the phone or checking voicemails. You can also at reply me on Twitter. That's phone dog underscore John. Also, please include the tag pound sign N1QA so I can sort through my messages. Alright, thanks for watching.